Welcome everybody to the Prizery Summer Theater 2014. Two great shows, Hairspray and Les Mis. Right guys? Woo! I am scratching the wood in hopes that it is going to curve around this plane. We're making a can. It's not working. But what did you say? As it stands right now, this sheet of Luan is not going to bend around this can. So we're scoring it in the hopes that it will without snapping. Try to do it all at one time. Like, go down. So. Yeah, so five inches from the hole. It. Uh, did you hear that background music? That's something you hear at Woolworth. Remember when we used in New York? Why the pink cord? Um, Not mine. Everybody in this community knows how fond I am of pink. So, pink cords, if you steal one, everybody will know who it is. Well, um, we started about a week and a half ago, yeah. and the set is basically done. We're almost completely finished. We have the floor left to do, and right now I'm doing these things for people to come in and dance, and then they'll post their headshots on the corner Collins, and uh, super good. Yeah, we're... Yeah, and I just finished this, um, it's Motormouth Mayville's record shop, and so I tried to make, like, you know, hand-painted sign, you know, trying to look, like, not super realistic, because it's not exactly, you know, a realistic show, but more cartoony and um, big and like bold colors. So um, just finished that and we're almost done painting. So um, it's been a really short process. Yeah. So Yeah, and we've, we've gone through a few changes. We've added some things like for every single, on every single piece there's one element of realism. So for the record shop we have the posters and then on Corny's sign we're gonna have the real actor's headshot and then on Mr. Pinky's Happy Hideaway will have real dresses hanging. So each of them is a little cartoonish with a splash of realism. Well, I painted all of Motor Mouth Mabel's record shop. We pretty much split the the scenic painting 50-50. She is, um, we're, we're both the scenic painters, so um, we split up jobs every day. You know, I say, what are you gonna do? What can I do? And we make it we make it flow really, I think that's why we both have a really good work ethic. So I think that's why we've gotten it done so quickly because um, this is a lot to paint. And um, you know, she'll say, hey, I just uh, based this, will you put an outline on it in green? And I'm like, yeah, sure. So um, yeah, I think it's pretty much split down the middle. It's so much teamwork. Yeah. I couldn't have done any of this without her. Yeah, no, I could. There's no way. <laughs> And we're listening to who? Louis Armstrong, but it's called. 
It's a radio station, man. It's called Beirut Radio. Yeah. I don't, so I don't listen to. I don't listen to rap. And I'm a hip hop DJ. On. We're out of the ones. We're about to get some more. We need seven more pieces of it stretch, stretch across this frame. And we're going to build a second one. The second one's going to be built from these. And that one will have a door in it so an uh, actor can come out, out of the spray can and scroll on the stage. And that's about as much as I know. Alright, well, I'm going to take some two by fours and split them in half using the table saw here. So we can have some one by ones to build another spray can with. Make sure you come out. 